In order for humans and wildlife to be able to coexist here in the mountains, experts say it's vital that incidents like the ones seen in this video do not ever happen. She's holding the bear. You can see the alarming video here of these individuals pulling the cubs from the tree and then holding one of them to take a selfie. Ashley Hobbs with NC Wildlife says this video was reported to them on Tuesday evening. An apartment complex out in the Fairview area, um, that officer did ask me to assist him in response to that, uh, so I did get on site and I saw the cub. While multiple cubs are seen on camera, when Hobbs arrived, she says there was only one still there, adding that the cub was wet, cold, and had been alone for quite some time. Pretty traumatic to be pulled out of a tree like that. Thankfully, the cub was not harmed and is now in a rehab facility. We did follow up with the people who pulled the bear out of the tree. Um, we did confront them on site that day. Uh, we let them know how irresponsible and uh, potentially um, deadly it could be for that cub to be separated from its mom. Hobbs says it's really frustrating to preach about coexisting with bears and then to see videos like this. And she's not the only one frustrated, as former director of Help Asheville Bears Jody Williams was equally as disturbed. All for a selfie. All for a selfie. Did she just drop it? My I mean, head, I can, my I can see raised. that you're you're shaking right now. No, I mean, what's your initial thoughts watching that? Super, super high anxiety. I feel bad for the Cubs. I feel bad for the ignorance of those people. Williams says this is an example of exactly what not to do. Total selfishness. This is not what we talk about when we talk about coexisting. Hobbs says this is a pretty rare situation to see. To have you know someone blatantly intervene, intervene with wildlife like this. And she's hopeful this can be used as a serious educational moment. And Hobbs says they are still investigating to see if there will be any charges coming to these individuals. In Asheville, I'm Taylor Thompson, News 13.